good everybody, it's boy Eddie and welcome back to the experience and before we even begin, make sure to smash that like button and if you see anything that you like throughout the video, be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. And just getting right into these shoes right here, man, this is a super sleeper pick in my opinion and to me, I may be wrong about this, but I definitely think this is going to be the sneaker of the summer because one, it's affordable, even the resale price is nothing too crazy right now, so let's just get right into it y'all. So. As you know, I'm a huge Nike boy. I love Nike. I live and die by Nike. But you know, I make my exceptions here and there. For example, when it comes to Yeezys, even though that's an Adidas shoe, I'm obviously a Kanye supporter. So that's why I only buy Yeezy sneakers. I don't buy any other Adidas. That's just not my brand. I don't do it. But this shoe right here, we got a dang New Balance, man. Look at that right there. And let's just get right into it, y'all. So what we got right here is none other than the new Balance 550. And man, <laughs> I'm just so in love with this shoe. So let's get right into it, y'all. So here's what we got right here, y'all. And just looking at this beauty right here, man, I'm just going crazy over these. I don't know why. Some people are telling me it looks like a dad shoe. Some people are telling me that it's trash. But personally, to me, I think it's a very simple yet super stylish shoe. Now, just to give some background information and some background history. So as most of you may not know, this is actually a retro of the original model that released in 1989, and it was called the New Balance P550 Basketball Oxford. And that's a really long name, so I'm happy that they just cut it down to the New Balance 550. And basically what this shoe is, it's a basketball performance shoe. So at least in those days, these were like a good performance basketball shoe. I don't know about now, even though they're actually really comfortable, I really don't know if I would play basketball in these. Maybe I would actually skateboard in them because my boy actually told me that he wanted to skateboard in the pairs that he gets. So I think these would definitely be a great skateboarding shoe. It kind of reminds me of like a, it's not really a dunk, but you know, you guys get what I mean. It's like a low top shoe and it's just, you know, it's comfortable enough for skating. So for me, I'm definitely gonna use these for lifestyle. I'm not gonna try to beat these up too much because I really love them. Obviously they're predominantly white, so I'm really gonna try not to cook these shoes. So now getting into the details of the shoe right here, let's start off with the branding. So we have a bunch of different kinds of New Balance branding. So we have the NB right here. We have the title New Balance. We have the huge N logo for New Balance. And then we have the NB right into the back right there. And as you guys can see by the details, we have some suede on the mudguard right here. And it's not that backstroke motion suede, so don't expect it to be a too premium, but you know, it's pretty good. We also have some synthetic leather on the toe box right here with perforated holes. And the same thing follows suit on the lateral and medial sides with more perforated holes just for, you know, some more breathability. Next, when we go onto the tongue, we have a kind of mesh tongue right there. And when we just open it up like that, we have another New Balance logo right there. You should notice the 550 right here on the side. Then we have some mesh around the ankle collar as well as some maroon or burgundy synthetic leather hits right there. We have some more mesh hits right here. And then, yeah guys, that pretty much concludes the overall overview of the shoe. So obviously I'm gonna give my own take on the shoe. Again, like I said before, it's pretty biased for me because I'm really in love with the shoe. A lot of people told me they don't like the shoe or that it looks like some grandpa shoes. So, you know, take it how you want. If you like this model right here, you should be able to tell just by looking at it. But I'm truly in love with this shoe, man. And again, I'm a Nike guy till I die, but this shoe definitely is one of the few exceptions that I make in my sneaker collection. And yeah, guys, it's just a beautiful shoe. Like it kind of reminds me of a Dunk, like it really does. And I know the Dunk came out before 1989, but I don't think they were really trying to emulate it at the same time, you know what I'm saying? I think they were trying to do their own thing, man. Like I really like this shoe. And surprisingly enough, on release day, it wasn't a lot of people that really wanted the shoe, but for some reason, my personal size, size eight was sold out. Like. I was like the first or second person in each of these stores. I went on like a six hour run around Manhattan where I was trying to get my size and I got every colorway. It dropped in three colorways. It dropped in black, maroon, and yellow. And none of the stores had a size eight. None of them. It was like seven and a half or eight and a half and up. And I'm just like, yo, I want my true to size. But honestly guys, I was able to get a seven and a half from Concepts. And out of the seven and a half and the eight and a half, 
The eight and a half was too big and the seven and a half was just perfect. Honestly, I think you guys can definitely go either true to size or even a half size down. And I have some wide feet, like my feet are pretty wide. New Balance usually makes shoes for wide footed people. You know, Nike is more of a narrow shoe, like all of their shoes are most of the time narrow, but New Balance definitely has more wider fit shoes. So definitely I think you go either true to size or a half size down. Because I did try to size eight in another colorway that I got shipped into me and it was okay, but I kind of like the more snug fit of the seven and a half. So definitely the seven and a half fit really well to me and i can't wait to rock these joints guys and honestly out of the three colorways i think the maroon was the best the black kind of goes with everything and the yellow is kind of a vibe if you want to stand out and kind of stick out more but the maroon really gives me the kind of cool vibe like it's just chill like you're not doing too much you're not doing too little it's just right in the middle and it's that kind of balance so the black is if you don't want to do too much the yellow is if you want to do the most and the maroon is just right in the middle and that's the colorway i chose because i tried all three of them on in like a seven and a half or eight and a half or the eight in the other colorways but i think this one really fit the best to me so again guys i'm in love with the shoe very biased but i'm gonna give these a 10 out of 10 for sure i can't wait to rock these out for the summer and i really hope that this persuaded you guys to actually get a pair because honestly retail is really cheap but it's kind of weird too because the retail would be $100 at one store, $109 at another store, and then $120 at another store. So the retail is kind of all over the place, but let's just say $110 plus tax would be like your average price for these shoes. And the resale market is not doing too crazy about these, which is surprising to me, other than the Aim Leon Door and the ALD colorways are the ones that are really doing the numbers, I guess, because everybody loves the New Balance ALD collaborations. But even these simple colorways is pretty good to me, and this is my favorite pair so far. Um, the ALDs are cool, but these just fit my vibe more. And if you guys know me, I really love the color blue. So red is not really usually on my radar, but honestly with this right here, they did a really good job with the color blocking and the colorway and everything. So I'm really happy with this colorway. And speaking of that, stay tuned for this on foot look. So that's gonna conclude the review as well as the on for look and other than that be sure to like share comment and subscribe Be sure to share with your friends and your family Be sure to smash that like button if you've seen anything that you like throughout the video Be sure to subscribe down below and hit that notification bell. And other than that, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace